What about Hajime? Near the beginning, Hajime and Kyoko were inseparable twins who agreed on everything. But something changed in her, and she started to distance herself from her sister. I don't know exactly what made her change. It could have been exposure to my good deeds or just through time. But she definitely started arguing with her sister a lot more. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. But the anger was clear. She stopped killing for fun and money and started killing those who did. After we split, I heard she was running a store near Ashton. But unfortunately, Ashton, and, well, that entire area, really, just blew up one day. Oh, who did that? It was a terrible tragedy, but you can't do much about it now. Your back. My neck, my back, my shoulders and my crack. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about Hajime. Hajime at first followed in her sister Kyoko's lead. Over time, however, she got fed up with her sister's morals and methods and went down a different path. A path that was less violent than her. I guess it was still fairly violent, but less malicious about it. She's a cook. After the gang split, she settled down in Ashton. Cooking is pretty violent. Now folktale going around making you believe that she's dead. But from what I've heard from Travelers to the Divide, and when I say Travelers, <laughs> I mean idiots who have no idea where they're going and they end up stranded. Are we idiots? Are we going they to have been rescued me? and or turned around by some mysterious lady they call the Divide Walker. Ooh. <laughs> now I ain't one for fairy tales or ghost stories, but I believe that Divide Walker is actually Hajime under a new guise. Okay. You should play it safe though, just in case this person is completely unrelated. Hajime Mashite, let's go! Alright, let's go. Get going, shooter. Eat a Takimas. And then I. <laughs> I eat a pretzel roll. <laughs> First, we should report back to. Um, you remember oh, where we're going? How the hell am I gonna get there? Oh, crap. If I can find a sign that says the. Ah! Okay, so that we, we actually didn't get that lost. Oh, she's here! Oh, she has a robot, too! Oh, that's cool! A custom oh, protector. Neat! On. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Oh! Hey, hey. You disappeared on us, like a ninja! You return as asked. I can assume the message was delivered. Yes, it was. The next step is to be patient and to wait until the time is right. If you and I can trust each other, there will be a lot of caps in it for both of us. Before then, I want you to continue to work for your employer, and to not raise suspicions. I mean, I, I, I raised some suspicions when I didn't actually kill you. Also, I am now willing to offer my regular services to you, with some small caveats. Mada, harawanaito, ikinaindayo. Araga ni mano, watashi wa. Uh, what is it that you are planning? For now, it doesn't matter. You'll know when it happens. Fine, be cryptic. What services do you offer? Primarily, I offer three services. You already know that I kill for money. Mm -hmm, Otherwise, mm -hmm. I have a selection of weapons and armor for sale. Ooh. Just speak with the machine. I also deal in sex as long as the pay is right. Oh! What do you mean you deal in sex? Somebody once told me, if you enjoy something, why do it for free? If I'm going to be doing it, <laughs> I might as well make some caps out of it. Well, well, I also enjoy sex, so you pay me! I need to get going. Genki de. Hey. Hi. Oh, great, you prorated it in Japanese as well. Why do you have a Beretta Target 87? Browning High Power M1935. Why do you have a 1935 and a CZ52? <laughs> CZ52. A lot of weird things here. AK-112. But why is it a cult? Okay, well, I have to buy that just to see what an absolute abomination that is. I didn't even know AKs went that high. At Colt Pocket 1849? What? <laughs> Combat shotgun, double barrel shotgun, the Dupla FF... 1905? <laughs> we have a Gewehr 43. Uzi! <laughs> All right, so it's a Breda Target 87. I... That, you know, that actually is kind of accurate for how a Beretta Target 87 would sound. Or just like a 22 in general. It's basically a 380 auto pistol, but they rechamber it for 22 long rifle and add this big barrel slash counterweight to the front of it. Because it's for, it's for target shooting. 
So yeah. you, want it to, you want it to be just as absolutely as stable as possible. So the way you do that is you make it in 22 long rifle and... Because there's no recoil to that. You make it real heavy so that the gun just does not move when you shoot it. If you squint really hard, you can see the gun that it's based off and then the extra metal they added on top of it. Yeah, I mean, basically, if you do, like, cover the whole front of it, you could be forgiven for thinking that it's a Beretta 82. Mm -hmm. Kind of too bad that it's in, like, 22 long rifle because it's going to do no damage. It's for target shooting anyway. It looks fun though. It looks cool. It looks like a future gun. It's missing the firing pin. Neat. Uh, Browning High Power 1935. Yep, that's a Browning High Power with a tangent rear sight. Sounds beefy. Yeah, the front sight looks a little large. Wow, they even modeled on the Browning High Power on some of them, there's a spot on the slide where they, they have a hole cut out. I think that's for installing the extractor. And they even, like, modeled that on this gun. They gave it a threaded barrel, too, which is interesting. Wow, this is a really detailed model. Yeah, props to whoever did this model. This thing is very detailed. Yeah, that's uh, pretty high res all right there. Look at that, there's even... I don't know why it says Lapua on that, but it does say 9mm Luger on the shell casing. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. That's French. Oh, hey. Okay, so apparently this one, according based on the model, this one would be a World War II German-issued Browning High Power because it has the Waffenamps stamped on it. It is it is interesting to me that the, the Germans used a handgun designed by an American. Not exclusively, but that was one of the guns they used. <laughs> That's a silly looking... Uh, all right. That's a CZ-52. Yeah, these things are weird. We cut so many corners making this gun, we didn't even bother to give it vowels. No, that's actually not true. It's actually, um... It's a Polish firearm, so the Z is pronounced like a vowel. No, it's it's actually a quite complicated handgun internally. It's actually a roller-locked, short-recoil-operated handgun. You put that gun on the lowest possible resolution texture, making it look so much better by comparison. Basically, CZ designed this gun for the Czech military. Hmm. It would have been Czechoslovakia at the time. They designed it for the Czech military because the Czechs basically didn't want to use the Tokarev TT-33, and I can't blame them. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's why it's called CZ. That's the first letters of the word Czech. No, it's because it's... I, I, I can't remember how to pronounce it, but that's the, that's the major firearms manufacturer in the Czech Republic oh. now is CZ. It stands for this word. I, I, I can't pronounce that word. I'm not even going to try because it would just be horribly offensive. Here we are talking about English being a dumb language, and then you get a language looking like that. I have no idea what to make of that. I wouldn't call it a dumb language. It's just very complicated for my for my brain to understand. All what languages is, are dumb. What the Colt AK-112? What the the fuck is this? It's a Colt AK-112, apparently. Well, I hate this. <laughs> you don't like it. You're not a fan. Oh. I don't know what this thing is. This looks like a child's drawing of an AK. <laughs> what are the three main things that come to your mind when you look at this? What the fuck? <laughs> I could maybe see this being an actual, like, 1950s firearm. But also, no way in hell. Oh, that's funny that they actually modeled the Colts. The Colt insignia there. Oh, that's real. Okay, so this gun in this game is chambered in 5mm. Mm. They actually changed it so it says caliber 5mm. <laughs> they, they just erased two numbers there. Yeah. <laughs> Colt fire. Yeah, that's... If it is based on an actual gun, I guess I'll be very surprised. Oh my, that is an institute pistol right there. Yeah, it's, it's quite bulky. <laughs> I will not be using this. I wonder if that gun is a reference to one of the one of the previous Fallout games. It might be. All right, well let's go let's go do this next bounty, I guess. All right, welcome to the divide, everybody. We're we're back here. Ooh, it's kind of stormy. No, if Ulysses shows up, I'm just shooting him. What are you I'm... doing out here? Oh. Do you know where this is? Well, that was fast. You need to go back the way you came. It isn't safe here. Nice mask. Uh, I'm looking for somebody. Probably you. There is nobody here. They are either dead or no longer human. It's only me and the guy with the braids left here. They're called dreadlocks? So unless it's me or him, then you won't find them. I'm looking for a woman named Hajime. Are you sure they aren't here? I haven't heard that name in such a long time. At least since before the Divide became like this. 
Let's talk near my camp, and I'll explain what I know. Okay, let's okay. do that. You live up there, up the pipe? You, you do! You uh, live up the pipe! Hey, if I shoot this gun in here, will you? Will it make you really mad? Will you, like, go deaf? I can't hear now. Also, put some... <laughs> she got no shoes on! She's Why barefoot. are you barefoot, lady? There's so much rebar! What is wrong with you? You're gonna get tetanus. You're gonna get, like, 50 different types of tetanus, you dumb idiot! Move. I do like your shirt, though. It's pretty I cool. wonder if she's Japanese, because she has Japanese writing on her jacket. I, it's probably just a coincidence. Oh, look, a weeb sword. <laughs> yep. Hey, how's it going? You uh, really don't want to stand that close to the ledge. What if I just push you off? You just walk <laughs> bare What is wrong with- Hey! Hey, stop walking- Oh, you know that's- what? So I am Hajime. Or rather- was Hajime. Used to be part of a gang, but after I left, I took up a new name. I wanted to distance myself from those days as much as possible. Become somebody else. Sable, the firewalker. I started calling myself Sable and settled down in Ashton. Ran a little store. But if you look around, you can see what became of that. Now I want to know why you would be searching for Hajime. It's been years since I used that name. Not many people even remember Hajime. Yeah, we're going around collecting interesting hats. Yep, that's all I'm doing. Just getting a bunch of different hats. My hat? Well, you can have it then. Any meaning or purpose that hat used to hold is lost now. All it does now is keep me attached to my old self. Great. Why would you just give the hat to me, though? Seems like it'll do more good for you than me now. Uh, okay, can I ask other questions? Your turn. How'd you, how the hell did you survive this? Luck, among other factors. I was at my store when it happened. It was like the earth and the sky split in two. The store was buried, but I managed to crawl my way out. I wasn't the only one to survive the initial quakes. Quite a few did, actually. It was the radiation that got them. They either got lucky and were killed by it or became marked men. Ah, oh, we've seen I them. I that it was like when the bombs fell during the war. After the initial event, well... A lot of fighting and scrounging for supplies. Tunnelers came after. Don't know where from, but they are a nuisance. You know, if you go through that doorway right there, the weather is super nice on the other side. Yeah, somehow the weather's like really nice just on the other side of the door. Anyway, how did you avoid all the radiation if it killed everyone else? I got attacked by some tunnelers, and by all accounts, I should have died there as well. Did you? I was mauled and torn up really badly. Uh -huh. While trying to treat myself, I noticed something very strange. Bits of metal and plastic inside me. Like machinery. You're this a wasn't a cybernetic implant I forgot about, because I've definitely never gotten any. Uh -huh. It was a lot to take in at the moment. What am I? Who made me? Why was I made? None of these questions will ever be addressed. These questions brought even more questions. If I'm some kind of robot, is my sister also one? If so, does she know? What memories of mine are real and which are fabricated? It's a lot to think about, knowing that everything you've experienced might be fake. I don't seem to be affected by radiation, though. So maybe that's worth the headache. Then why are you wearing the mask? So you're some kind of synthetic robot? Do you have any proof? Who would lie about something like that? I don't know. There's a lot of... Do you think someone would just do that? Go to the Divide and tell lies? You think your sister might also be a robot? It's not like I can go ask her. We haven't spoken in years, mostly because of me. I got all those people killed, not her. Can I ask you to do something for me? A favor? Sure, why not? I want to attempt to make amends with Kyoko. I used to have her tanto, a short sword. I feel a good place to start would be returning it. You Ooh. should do that then. The problem is that it's still probably in the back of my old store. I doubt any marked men have taken it. <laughs> The Tonto is locked up and not that appealing of a prize in the state it's in. That sounds like it's gonna be work, but okay. If you could okay. get it and deliver it to Kyoko, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, guess we're going through part of the divide to get to your store. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. Thank you. That pit boy you have. Let me see it. I can probably no. find my store No, on it's map. mine. Stop touching me. Feel free to take anything I have personal space issues! The sword is for Kyoko, though. Okie dokie! Are you sure it's not this one right here? I mean, that's more of a washing pole than a, uh... Than a, than a, you know, whatever. Sable, uh, your sister misses you very dearly, 
and doesn't really... She said she didn't care about the Tondo. She just wants to see you. Yeah, she's not buying it. We're going to have to go get it. All right. Hey. All right. I have an M16A2. We're in the divide, and we have to go to a store. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we'll actually be able to, uh... We'll be able to get down there now. I think we can somehow. What if I jump down there and I shoot a gun at the same rate that I'm falling so that it slows my fall and I don't break my legs? That sounds plausible enough to me. Grenade launcher. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, it worked. I wouldn't have expected that to work, but it did. That's amazing. I can't believe that worked. Yep. Just gotta find her store. Let's take a moment to soak in the ambiance. You know, this is a pretty awesome environment. I feel, I feel very well soaked in the ambiance. Thank you very much. Yes. I need to dry out. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I didn't mean to do it. It loved me in my head. I tried to be a charmer, but I got bit hopeless instead. But I got a bit hopeless. Wow, your handwriting is pretty amazing there. Oh, it was spray painted. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I know. I saw it. You can stop doing the wild <laughs> wasteland thing. Whoever is playing that theremin, knock it off. <laughs> hey! -oh! Well, now you're dead. Wouldn't your parents be proud? <laughs> yep. Just pry this open. Mustang laser PDW. That's not a laser PDW. That's a Thompson submachine gun. I can tell it's a Thompson submachine gun. Because it looks like a Thompson submachine gun, and I would not consider a Thompson submachine gun a personal defense weapon. I mean, I'll take it, but it's not a personal defense weapon. Anything's a personal defense weapon if you are a person and use it for defense. <sighs> hey, I found the Tonta. It's warped. And she's not going to be happy about this. We're going to get back, and she's going to be like, why is it warped? And I'm going to be like, I don't know, because it was inside a nuclear explosion? <laughs> you could actually use the warped Tonto as a weapon. <laughs> hey hey Hi-yah! Yep, that's a uh, wibbly wobbly weapon right there. Oh uh, yeah, this Tonto is gonna cost you six thousand dollars. No low balls, I know what I got. Mustang, laser personal defense weapon. Oh, I'm out of ammo for it. Ah, uh, bummer. Really didn't have much ammo to speak of in it. Yeah, believe it or not, you don't carry around much laser weapon ammo. Yeah, not really. Oh, it actually, <laughs> it actually has the actually says damage. sables ah, on it. Ah, look at that. That's, ah, that's fun. nice. That's neat. Oh, Sable, if that is your real name, which we know it isn't. Your turn. My, my turn for what? So, you mentioned a guy with braids? Yeah, he came by here. Told him to leave, but he said he needed to be here. To deliver a message, he said. I don't know to whom, but he looked serious, so I let him pass. Okay. How, how recent ago was this? Because I'm pretty sure we killed him over a year ago. So long. Okay. Maybe it's a different guy. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe it's actually a guy with braids and not dreadlocks. Oh, uh, yeah, we're thinking of the wrong guy. Yeah. yeah. Let's go give this sword to... Uh, Let's pass this sword along to Kyoko. I couldn't remember what her name was. That's not a Tanto. That's an assault carbine. You know what it isn't? It's, an, it's a rifle. It's not a carbine. It's a rifle. I don't know the difference. It's got a longer barrel. And it doesn't have a collapsing stock. Not that that's a prerequisite to it being a carbine, but... You just got a carbine with a long stock, or a long barrel. No, it's not a carbine, it's a rifle! Okay. There's a difference! Okay. Hey! Hi. I'll pay for your company, then! No, we will not do that! <laughs> also, it is misspelled. Hajime wanted me to deliver this to you. Hajime? Well, then, choosing. I need to think on this. Yeah, she's okay. alive. We spared her, too. All right, have fun. All right. No. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh, Mike, I think the divide followed us back. <laughs> uh, mm. Interesting. All right, all right. Return to Sable, apparently. Oh, wait, oh, she was in the divide. Maybe Sable moved to the wind farm. Combat why would Sable... Oh, my God, why would Sable have moved here? Oh. Why would Sable have moved here? I, there's no one shouting for Chase. Why? What is that? Oh, oh, oh. that's a crossbreed. That is silly. Must be making hell overcrowded. Because that's where Cazadors go. You mind? I'm trying to peck here. I'm, I'm busy pecking, and then you guys showed up, and then all these Cazadors, they were they were just minding their own business, and then you showed up, and the Cazadors were like, oh, fuck, let's get him, boys. And then, uh, whatever. I know we were there. 
Buddy Chicken, go make friends with a crow while we find Sable. No, okay. I guess a poison we gotta, gland. I guess we gotta go into the divide because it's messing I, with the map. Yeah, I don't know why it's telling us to go here, but whatever. Hey, we're back! And are you still here, Sable? You must be! Because if leaving were easy, you would have done it by now, right? Hey, say, stop walking on the fire! Oh, I know what she's doing. She's putting calluses on her feet so she doesn't have to wear shoes. You're back and still alive, so... What did she say? Uh, she said she'll think about it. That's all I could ask for, really. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Would you like to go visit her? Okay. Alright, that's done. Uh, <laughs> you know, by doing doing this, doing this theoretically can give you better depth perception if it doesn't make you sick. Actually, that's why, um, that's why a lot of birds, that's why a lot of birds do the head bob Yeah, thing. yeah. I've seen that. You see, you, you watch watch like a pigeon or a chicken walk. They do the little head bob. Yeah. The reason they do that is because it gives them uh, gives them better depth perception. Makes sense. Because they don't have binocular vision, so their depth perception isn't great. Usually, only predators have binocular vision. This guy's got monocular vision. 